Welcome back to the Rope Access channel. In this video, I will show you how to pass the knots with the casualty. Let's get into it. The method I'm going to show you today to pass the knots with a casualty is the one I learned on my most recent Arata Level 3 reassessment. I will show you one or two more in other videos, but this is a fairly easy one and if you know how to do the counterbalance rescue to snatch a casualty out of their ascenders, then you should be able to do this one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to steal my casualties descender and backup device and I'm going to attach them opposite. So we'll start with the descender first. Do my rope management. Attach the descender to both the short connection to my casualty and my D ring. I attach the descender below the butterfly knot and lock it off. I'm counting on it giving me a little bit of stretch so I will be able to open up the handle because that might be an issue. I'm giving, gonna give myself just a couple of centimeters play and I will descend onto the knot, almost onto the knot. So I have the new, new descender is on the bottom of the knot and before I tell you what to do next, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. The sponsor of this video is Industrial Klimme. It's a beautiful training center, as you can see behind me, just situa situated in the Netherlands, just north of Amsterdam. You can come here for your IRATA training, your GWO training, and any working at heights related training in between. There's a physical store next door where you can come in and check out the latest climbing equipment and ask for advice. And if you're not able to make it in person, you can always visit the web store. Link will be in the description. So to continue, I have two IDs. One is loaded, the one is almost on tension. I can move my backup device to the other rope. I take my ascender. I will take a foot loop. And this could be a 120 sling or a 150 sling or whatever suits your fancy. I thread it through. I will lower it a little bit. And I need to guesstimate the distance, but the distance has to be so that I can just lift him up. So I can undo the descender we are hanging in right now and then I will land back into this one. But it's going to be a fairly big step going down. Here we go. I stand up. I stand up fully. Suspended, hands free. Life is good. I pull up the casualty. Ooh, that was not enough. I open the plate. Take out the rope. I'm still suspended and comfortable so I can do my rope management. And I'm going to sit down slowly and pinch the rope right here and release slowly, release slowly. Put in a bit of slack here. Release slowly. It's going to be a big drop. It's a good thing I'm flexible. And here we go. We have passed the knots. Do my rope management. Organize everything. Take down my ascender. Take away the foot loop. All I need to do now 
is past the notch with my backup line, which is easy because I can just take my backup, I can take the casualties backup, attach it to my top D-ring, check the system, undo the original backup device. All right, put in my friction point. And I'm ready to go down. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Tell me what you think about this technique in the comments. Maybe compare it to the other ones I will be releasing. And subscribe to the channel so you never miss a, a new release. Hope you liked it. I'll see you in the next one. Stay connected.